Hello, cat aspirants. In this video, we'll try to understand uh, how the cat is truly a test of management skills and not just a test of maths and English. Uh, to appreciate the statement that cat is a test of management skills, we've tried to split uh, this challenge into three components: the anatomy, the physical dimensions, and the test-taking techniques. That how uh, each of these will pose a management challenge, and uh, if you are able to understand. Uh, this part uh, of the challenge, you'll be able to connect better with the test. Let's begin with uh, the first dimension of this challenge, which is anatomy. The anatomy is uh, the overall fabric of the paper. The test uh, over the years has been designed in such a way that it brings out the manager within you. If you have those skills, if you have those management skills, you will be able to connect with the questions and do uh, too well. Uh, and if you start looking at the paper otherwise, uh, then of course there will be a gap between what uh, you are doing and what is expected of you. So the anatomy of the paper, there are four areas which we uh, need to understand. The first area, the first area is the quantitative ability part of the, the test. This, uh, this particular um, area of the test has been a favorite amongst the paper setters. Uh, it has uh, four standard modules. We look at uh, arithmetic, algebra, geometry, and modern math. These are the four components of the quantitative ability uh, area. And you'll find that each of these is a measure of your management skills and not just uh, a measure of your quantitative skills. For example, arithmetic, which is uh, heavy in terms of numbers, which is more skewed towards numbers and percentage and profit and loss. Uh, this is not just a test of your calculations or numeric skills. It's a test of your ability to understand symmetry and patterns and things. As a manager, you need to understand human behavior, uh, the pattern formation there. You need to understand patterns in markets. You need to do a trend analysis uh, because a particular uh, pattern emerges uh, over the past so many years. So this is uh, what the arithmetic module is being, is being particularly assessed on, not just numbers, but uh, symmetry and pattern formation through numbers. Then, of course, we have algebra, uh, which is uh, perceived to be a test of equations, linear, simultaneous, quadratic, or um, uh, equations uh, through uh, topics like time, speed, distance, and time and work. But if you uh, take a deeper look, you'll understand this is a test of your management skills, uh, your ability to understand correlations, your ability to understand interrelationships between variables. Uh, the minute you try to see the revenue as a function of the total number of units and the price per unit, uh, you will probably uh, do something with this revenue function. You'll try to maximize it, uh, keeping in mind these two variables. And, and then, of course, you go on to the next challenge and see uh, what the market is like and then plan things accordingly. Now, where am I coming from? That uh, these relationships are absolutely core to uh, the management career. And algebra is one such tool through which the paper setter uh, will measure those particular skills. And then, of course, we have geometry, uh, which is high in terms of topics like uh, triangles, angles, mensuration, uh, trigonometry, uh, coordinate geometry, uh, all these conventional topics uh, which come under this domain. But the larger challenge is that of space management, your ability to uh, imagine um, uh, uh, space, how the space looks like, and how do you propose to place your uh, good or service in that particular space so as to create a competitive advantage. And then, of course, we have modern math, which is uh, uh, prima facie a test of your uh, ability to understand topics like permutations, combinations, probability, but on a more insightful level, this is a test of lateral thinking and divergent thinking. So these are uh, the challenges which you cover under the quantitative ability uh, part of uh, the CAT. Then, of course, uh, we have the next challenge in the next 
part of the test which is data interpretation where you have uh, uh, some basic statistical tools like uh, tables bar charts line charts uh, pie charts and uh, you are supposed to understand comprehend the data and then process it in a certain way so as to arrive at the answers uh, but if you look at uh, the management angle uh, it is not just your uh, data uh, solving uh, uh, skills which are important it's your ability to analyze data uh, more conceptually more uh, intensively the, uh, and it's not just a calculation task in fact in cat 15 we had uh, a basic on screen calculator also so it's not just calculations it's your ability to approximate it's your ability to speculate now speculation which is the which is the core of financial markets is being assessed in this particular domain and then uh, uh, you will find that typically these questions come in clusters so one cluster will probably help you to leverage economies of scale if you're able to understand one data one piece of data clearly then all the questions attached to it uh, you'll be able to connect with them better now, so how do you reap economies of scale how do you speculate these are the larger challenges the management challenges in data interpretation and then of course a part of data interpretation is also data sufficiency where you have to see how much data is required to solve a particular question as managers you need to do it all this all the while you need to trade off between optimal and redundant data and somebody who can do that smartly is more equipped to perform and do well in the markets. Then, of course, we have logical reasoning. Now, this uh, is, is an area where your basic uh, logical skills are being evaluated uh, through different situations. It could be a family tree. It could be a coding problem. It may be a seating arrangement problem. It may be a puzzle. Uh, but... Uh, if, you, if you dig deeper, this is a test of uh, your ability to analyze and apply logic, uh, convert theory into practice, and try to understand the analytical framework in which you have to solve problems. And uh, logic is, is, is one of the uh, essential requirements which will differentiate success from failure in the comparative management scenario. And then we have verbal ability which uh, will have profile questions on usage and grammar on, um, on, on on critical reasoning on reading comprehension where your alphanumeric skills are being assessed for example fill in the blank uh, will assess your contextual skills how do you uh, fill up the context how do you respond to the context critical reasoning is your ability to critically differentiate uh, between two pieces of data between two statements and reading comprehension is your ability to understand uh, alphanumeric data understand the uh, the lateral dimensions in the passage at times and then respond to the questions so all this uh, is is nothing but a reflection of management skills in some form or the other so this was the first challenge trying to understand the anatomy and how the fabric of the paper will assess your management skills the second one physical parameters now physical parameters uh, we basically talk about three uh, important physical dimensions of the test one is the number of questions second is the number of sections and third is the time allotted let's look at uh, the the, uh, the two recent cats CAT 14 and CAT 15 and try to understand these physical dimensions of the of the test and how this is a reflection of your management skills. The number of questions in both the CATs was 100. Number of sections in CAT 14 was 2. There was one section on quantitative ability and data interpretation and the other section was verbal ability and logical reasoning in cat 15 we had three sections one was quantitative ability the other was data interpretation and logical reasoning and third was verbal and reading comprehension and the number of questions uh, 
among the sections also varied. For example, in 14, there were 50 questions in each of these sections. But in CAT 15, uh, we had 34 questions in the quantitative ability part. We had 32 questions in data interpretation and logical reasoning. And there were 34 questions again in verbal ability and reading comprehension. So the number of questions uh, was also uh, different as compared to CAT 14 uh, between the sections. The time allotted, 170 minutes here and 180 minutes here. Now, what are we trying to arrive at? We're trying to understand that how does this uh, reflect uh, uh, your management skills? How is this a measure of your management skills? Uh, one thing which we need to understand is that all these physical parameters are able to introduce an ounce of change in the way the test is being conducted. And this is precisely what uh, managers are supposed to uh, uh, do all the while, and that is constructively manage change, successfully manage change. So as a test taker, if you're able to think off the feet and manage that change there and then, you are better off in responding to the CAT challenge. And this is precisely what the analogy is. So somewhere that change which is manifested in the format of the paper is what you need to manage while responding to the questions. And then, of course, the test taking technique. The test taking technique is also uh, reflective of your management skills. We talk about basic skills like priority. How do you assign a prioritization to uh, the questions which you approach, which question will you pick up before the other, which section will you pick up before the other if this facility is there. As we discussed a while back at 14 and 15, two different formats. In 14, the instruction was that you can attempt any section before the other and uh, you could also have the flexibility of navigating through uh, one uh, section and then jumping off to another section then coming back to the previous one whereas in CAT 15 this flexibility was not there. So uh, priority uh, becomes more critical when that freedom is given to you to start with any section and then of course uh, which question do you attempt before uh, the other is also indicative of your prioritization skills. Then a crucial test taking technique is trading off. How do you achieve the trade off between the time which you need to invest per question and the and the time which you need to invest in other questions therefore. So deciding the exit point, deciding the exit point becomes extremely critical in, in, in the CAT uh, because uh, if you are not able to ensure uh, a proper closure or exit at the right time, it will add on to your opportunity cost. Uh, and that becomes uh, a huge deterrent uh, in the time management part. So uh, prioritization, priority, then trading off, then of course your ability to manage stress. Throughout the test, there is a certain ounce of stress. There is stress because we have expectations. We have expectations from ourselves. Uh, the society has expectations of us, the family, friends, everybody. So you are performing under a set of expectations and obviously this builds up that stress level. So uh, how do you keep that poise and balance is absolutely critical to your success in the CAT. And, and, and this is one uh, differentiator between successful managers and the ones who are not successful. The ones who are able to keep their balance and poise intact in critical situations are likely to do better. And then of course, uh, the time management part becomes extremely critical to test taking techniques you have to smartly manage your time between sections, between questions, um, and ensuring proper closures, and uh, uh, ensuring that uh, the overall uh, cutoff level is attained. So all this, uh, uh, all the, the three parts which we discussed in this video, anatomy, the physical dimensions of the test, and the test-taking technique, all these are indicative of 
your management skills and we go on to uh, say what we started with and that is the test is not just a test of math and English it's a test of management skills through math and English thank you so much best wishes